Well, needless to say, lawlessness has prevailed in Bangladesh following the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government in the country. And this case is one as an example. This is uh, the finding of a report by Rights and Risk Analysis Group. The group on its report uh, titled Conflicts in Bangladesh and Myanmar, the Threat to Regional Peace and Security, has some observations that on 6th of October, the interim government in Bangladesh appointed members of six committees, not a single member was uh, uh, part of this from 1.6 million indigenous peoples and 16 million religious minorities. None of them were included in any of these committees, including the Constitution Reform Committee. 6th of uh, uh, October, he formed uh, this Constitutional Reform Commission. And Constitutional Reform Commission has only nine members. And uh, uh, out of nine members, there is only one woman. And there are no minor indigenous peoples. The population of the indigenous peoples is about 1.6 million. And there are no representation from the religious minorities who are about 16 million. Now, Bangladesh's interim government led by Muhammad Yunus, or Dr. Muhammad Yunus, was formed on 8th of August 2024 following the resignation of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on 5th of August 2024 amid nationwide protest and public protest against the government. The interim government has announced the formation of a nine-member commission to review and evaluate the country's uh, constitution and also recommend necessary reforms. Now, under the leadership of prominent Bangladeshi American professor Ali Riaz, the Constitution Reform Commission has to submit its report to the government within or the interim government within 90 days. The commission was formed to review and evaluate the existing constitution to establish a representative and effective democracy while empowering the people. Now, members of the commission include student representative Mahfuz Al Alam as well. A report released India ba by India-based think tank uh, rights and risk analysis groups have raised some red flags or concerns on the composition and commission. Uh, they, it says that not a single member from 1.6 million religious minorities have been included in this uh, commission. These are the excerpts uh, of the report released by Rights and Risk Analysis Group. No representation from the indigenous or religious minorities have been included in the Constitution Reform Committee. And exclusion is, uh, it says, is absolute and unseen under President Irshad or Khalid Azia or Sheikh Hasina's regime that such exclusions have not been seen in earlier regimes as well. And exclusion of these indigenous people from, from current reform process is, does it augur well with the democracy and constitution reform commission also excludes Hill tribes, the report raises serious concerns on the situation of minorities in Bangladesh. It says it's threat to regional peace and security. That's a big red flag this, uh, this uh, think tank has raised. And it's also talked about the unrest in Bangladesh and Myanmar can deeply impact peace in Indian subcontinent region where interim government's intent to resolve the issue of Chittagong Hill is also under doubt or scanner. Tribes and other minorities are relying on elections to resolve their concerns, but when are these elections going to take place? And exclusion of these indigenous people from reform process can also lead to future conflicts. This is what the report has also said. It talks about the intensification of human rights violations under the current regime in Chittagong Hill, current regime that interim government. From September 19 to October 1st, illegal planes and settlers and Bangladesh army led organized assaults on the indigenous people. That's a big claim uh, in this particular report. Uh, it also talks about these assaults were carried out in these regions, particularly Viganala, Kargachari and Rangamati regions. It seeks investigation by the UNHRC to United Nations uh, uh, Human Rights Committee to conduct investigations on uh, the plight of uh, minorities uh, there.